Hey, financial literacy family. Ever found yourself juggling between paying off a mortgage early and saving up for a bigger down payment on a future dream home? Let's dive into this today. The journey to financial freedom can be challenging. For many, it's a toss-up between building equity in their home or accumulating a substantial nest egg. Well, Jake from Tennessee posed this exact question. Just a few months back, Jake and his wife waved goodbye to their consumer debt. Impressive, right? With their emergency fund nearly complete, Jake was torn between two financial paths. So Jake asked, should I speed up the equity train on our current mortgage, possibly settling it in a couple of years, or should I stockpile cash? First off, big applause to Jake for even being in this position. If you're enjoying the content so far, consider hitting that subscribe button below. We constantly bring you valuable insights to elevate your financial journey. Back to Jake. A massive achievement for him. Clearing $55,000 in just 18 months, consisting mostly of student and car loans. Now facing this mortgage dilemma, Jake isn't alone. Many of you might be echoing his sentiments. The puzzle here is identifying the most beneficial move post-emergency fund. As you walk down the financial yellow brick road, the next step typically is setting aside 15% for retirement. Got kiddos? Think about their education. Jake has a toddler and hasn't ventured into the college savings game yet, but it's on his radar. When we talk about mortgage payments, there's a tactic worth considering. Instead of a lump sum, why not make additional payments whenever possible? An abundance of cash can sometimes lead us astray. Ever had that urge to upgrade your car? Or how about that sudden itch for an exotic vacation? Yeah, it happens. By steadily feeding your mortgage, it acts as a forced savings vessel. It's not vanishing money, but essentially equity savings. When you do decide to sell, that money rolls right back to you. Circumstances change, and by the time your house is fully paid, you might be looking at different horizons. On the flip side, Jake also contemplated about a significant down payment stash for a future home. It's valid. But remember, continuously dumping money into your mortgage keeps you on track. As a bit of wisdom passed down, it's challenging to retrieve equity from your home for impulse buys. But from a savings account? Not so hard. One fascinating perspective is viewing additional mortgage payments as an automatic savings tool. It might feel like a blow to your cash flow, but in reality, it's a smart, disciplined savings method. Such habits help you steer clear from financial pitfalls. Another advantage, automating your finances, automated payments, direct deposits, and so on, they simplify life. Our brains, however, might initially resist the change, especially if you've been financially strained in the past. Embrace the new and let your money work efficiently for you. Concluding with a fun tidbit, imagine if you had to hand over your taxes in physical cash. There might be a revolution overnight, Yet, the automated world has made this process so seamless that we often overlook the actual amounts we part with. Anthony from Jackson, Tennessee reached out with this very question. First off, Anthony, congratulations on being consumer debt-free. That's a monumental achievement, and it's the first step toward financial freedom. So what's the next best move? If you've just become debt-free and have your emergency fund in place, you're in a strong financial position. The idea now is to ensure that your money works for you in the most effective way. Both options, paying off your mortgage early and saving up for a down payment, have their merits. When you think about paying off your mortgage early, you're essentially viewing your home as a forced savings account. Each additional payment you make toward your mortgage principal increases your home equity. This equity is like money in the bank. When you eventually sell the house, you'll reap the benefits. But there's an added advantage. By paying down the mortgage faster, you also save on interest payments in the long run, enhancing your overall wealth. On the other hand, having a sizable down payment for a new property can provide you with better mortgage rates and terms when you're ready to make a move. It can also allow you to buy a more expensive house or reduce your monthly payments, offering financial flexibility. Remember, halfway through this video, if you're finding our content beneficial, do hit that subscribe button. We strive to bring you the best financial advice, and your support helps us continue our mission.
However, it's essential to remember that while the idea of piling up cash might sound appealing, having a lot of liquidity can sometimes lead to unnecessary or impulse expenditures. There's always a new gadget, vacation, or car that might seem tempting. By putting extra money toward your mortgage regularly, you ensure that the funds are locked away in home equity, safeguarding them from impulsive decisions. Now there's no one-size-fits-all answer. Consider your long-term goals. If you're planning to stay in your current house for a long time, it might be beneficial to pay off that mortgage and live rent-free. But if you foresee a move in the near future, especially to accommodate a growing family or job change, having a healthy down payment can be invaluable. Regardless of the path you choose, always be informed. It's vital to understand the terms of your mortgage, any penalties for additional payments, and the housing market's current status. And as always, automating smart decisions can help. Setting up auto drafts for savings or additional mortgage payments ensures you remain consistent in your financial strategy. Continuing from our previous discussion on deciding between paying off your mortgage early or saving up for a down payment, let's pivot to an equally crucial aspect of financial planning, the role of discipline. Discipline, in the context of financial planning, is the commitment and consistency you demonstrate towards achieving your monetary goals. But why is discipline so pivotal? For starters, achieving any long-term financial goal requires commitment over an extended period. While making an extra mortgage payment or depositing into a savings account occasionally is beneficial, it's the regularity and persistence that will genuinely compound your efforts over time. One analogy we can use is physical fitness. Much like you can't expect to achieve a fit physique after a single workout, you can't expect a secure financial future after just one or two wise financial choices. It's about the consistent, disciplined efforts you make daily, monthly, and yearly. Furthermore, discipline helps shield against external pressures. Market fluctuations, sudden expenses, or even societal pressures to keep up with the Joneses can derail our best laid financial plans. By being disciplined, you create a buffer against these pressures, ensuring you remain on track even when the going gets tough. But how do you cultivate this discipline? Start with setting clear, specific goals. Instead of vaguely aiming to save money, target to save $10,000 in 12 months. By being precise, you're more likely to stay accountable. Additionally, surround yourself with like-minded individuals or communities that champion fiscal responsibility. There's immense power in collective ambition. In conclusion, the journey to financial freedom is unique for everyone. Whether you choose to pay off your mortgage early or save for a down payment, always ensure your decisions align with your financial goals and aspirations. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more invaluable financial insights. Stay informed and take charge of your financial future with financial literacy.